this is a random variable problem that requires you to list out all the outcomes. So here we actually gonna have to do that. Here we have z defined as three times the number of aces you draw and two times the number of faces card face cards you draw of the three cards that you draw. Before I worry about z, let's worry about the outcomes. So we're looking at these cards and we're gonna draw three. It could be kind of hard to know how to list out all the outcomes when there are so many different ones. And uh, here's a way to think about it, sort of make it more mechanical and less chance to make an error. I'm gonna start out with three aces. And then I'm gonna take away one ace at a time. So I'm gonna have two aces now. And two aces can go with one face card. And two aces can also go with one non-face card. Now I'm gonna have one ace. And then with one ace, there are two other cards. So I'm gonna start that out with two face cards. And I'm gonna take one face card away at a time. So if I take one face card away, the other one goes to the non-face card. And then finally, just two non-face without the face card. Now I'm gonna take the ace away. So now all three cards are now aces. So the possibilities, I'm gonna start out with all three being face card. And then again, take one away at a time. One face, two non-face, and finally, three non-face. So this is actually the complete list of outcomes. If it's not very clear how you list them all out, uh, the problem setting is going to be the same. So just take this list, and your Z might be different, but at least you can take this list of outcomes. And then here you have Z which is defined to be three ace plus two face card. So now simply just take the outcome and then substitute it. So here we have three aces, three times three is nine, nine plus, we have zero face card, so nine plus zero, so this is nine. Two aces, six, plus a face card, which is worth two, that's gonna be eight. And then two ace, one non-face, two ace is worth six and the non-face isn't worth anything. So here's gonna be six. One ace is three, two faces card is two, so that's seven. One ace, one face, that's gonna be five. One ace, two non-face, that's three. Three faces, that's six. Two faces, that's gonna be four. One face is gonna be two, and three non-faces is gonna be zero. So these are the numbers associated with each outcome. So these are the value, possible values of z, which when you have repeats, let's do, do you have any repeats here? You have 0, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we have a 6 that's a repeat. So what's going to happen is that the possible value of z is, we, we, we're not going to list 6 out twice, so I'm going to add the probability of this outcome over to the 6 here as well. And also, WebWorld requires you to list them in uh, numerical order. So here, you're gonna have to re reorder it yourself. But here, I'm just I'm not gonna reorder it here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do their each of their associated probabil associated probabilities. So of course, the probability that z equals nine is the same thing as the probability that our outcome is three aces. That's what is going to make a Z9. So we want to know the probability of three aces. So what kind of probability problem is this? We're drawing three cards. That's simultaneously, so that's without replacement. And we don't really care about the order which we draw them in. We just care about what kind of cards they are. So this is a combination problem. And we're just going to simply use combination. And if you're not familiar with the combination, please go visit 2.3. At this point, you need to be very comfortable with how combination works. So here's three aces. It's going to be, you got, you got four aces, so four choose three. And then everything else choose zero. I don't, I'm not going to write it out. Divided by the sample space. 
which is going to be 7 plus 13, 20 plus 4 is 24. Choose 3. There's two aces and one face card. So two aces out of the four. And one face, so we're going to multiply it. One face card out of the seven, so seven choose one. And then these, these are all going to be divided by the same thing, which is going to be 24 choose. 24 choose three. And then here, you got to be careful because three faces and two face, one non face, both lead to the six. And your Z or your X or whatever might not be the same. So there might be different things that lead to the same number. But nevertheless, if two outcomes lead to the same number, you're going to have to add probabilities of the outcomes. So the probability that Z equals 6 is the probability of two A's, one non face. Two A's is 4 choose 2. One non face is 13 choose 1. And we're going to add. That with three phase, which is going to be seven choose three, and we take that whole thing again divided by the seven space, and here seven is going to be four choose one, four four aces, and then seven choose two, and we divide it by twenty four choose three. So you you get the idea, uh. How, what, whichever card you're choosing, that's that's how many choose, how many, that's going to be like this. So here, one ace is four, choose one. Here's two face cards, is seven, choose two. That's on top, and then you just divide it by the sample space. And then here, you're going to calculate out all the numbers, punch them in the calculator, and then you just type them in. And that's it.